Good morning, Uday and Bargav. Today is Tuesday, September 19th, and here's the heads-up briefing for today. In Australasia and the Pacific Islands, we covered 10 issues. In North Asia, 8 issues. In Southeast Asia, 24 issues, along with 22 issues in South Asia and the major developments in the EMEA region. Thank you. Can we please discuss the major issues today? Sure. Uh, starting off with Australasia and the Pacific Islands in PNG, Papua New Guinea Customs ha has warned against rising food prices in line with forecasts of a significant hike in shipping freight costs over the next few years due to the upcoming oil and gas projects in the country. That's interesting. Uh, the viability of these upcoming oil and gas projects is in question at this point as Papua New Guinea is trying to change from a concession-based system to a production-sharing system. We disidentify a lot of foreign places, so it will be interesting how the upcoming oil and gas projects pan out, especially under uh, Prime Minister James Marape's uh, PNG first nationalist, um, nationalistic policies. Moving over to North Asia, in Taiwan, the Chinese military flew 103 warplanes toward Taiwan in a 24-hour period, heightening the security risk for the island. Yeah, at this point, this is uh, pretty usual. Um, China has been increasing its military posture in the region, so we can expect more of this in the coming months. Thanks. In Southeast Asia and in Indonesia, a member of the Mobile Brigade Corps was killed during a shooting incident with the West Papua National Liberation Army in, Pap in uh, Bintang Mountains Regency in Papua yesterday. Two, two civilians were also shot by the TPNPB members in Okpol village uh, yesterday as well. Yeah, so uh, the Bintang Mountains Regency, Gunungan Bintang, has been a hotspot for violence over the past few years. And um, it lies right next to the Papua New Guinea border. And there is a strong, um, there is, there is a possibility that they are getting arms and training over in the PNG site, which we have talked about before. So thanks for bringing this up, Basil. In Myanmar, a bomb was detonated inside a branch of the Meawadi Bank in uh, Mandalay on September 16th, around 2 p.m. local time. Well, the security situation in Myanmar continues to devolve as the military uh, government is trying to hold on to power. It's lost control in a lot of areas, but it's holding on to urban areas. The rural areas have been taken over by EAOs and PDFs, so the situation is not looking good. And in terms of um, the economy and uh, banking in the country, uh, the government's policies are really uh, shutting out any sort of investment and they're losing a lot of money. Uh, so we'll see how this develops. Sure, they Moving over to South Asia and Pakistan, unionized oil tanker operators went on a nationwide strike yesterday. They are demanding a 100% increase in fares for local routes and a 50% increase in fares for longer routes due to the increase in fuel prices. Yes, more such protests can be expected as the interim government headed by uh, Mr. Kakar is unlikely to take any firm action on the economic troubles the country is in. Uh, so, uh, Basel, please advise the team to watch out for more such protests and keep our clients updated. So, uh, such protests will affect businesses as well as uh, travel, uh, depending on how intense they are. Sure, Bargav. Um, in Bangladesh, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, which is the BMP, yesterday announced a series of demonstrations across the country and until October 3rd. The announced rallies will take place in Dhaka, Narayagang, Kumila, uh, Barisal, Silhat, and Khulna. All right. Thank you. Uh, finally, in the EMEA region, in Georgia, the State Security Service yesterday stated that mass riots are being prepared across the country to overthrow the government. The security service said that the rebellion may start in October through December. All right. Thank you. 
Finally, in Ukraine, German authorities yesterday announced that they will provide a new military aid package worth $427 million to the Ukrainian military. All right. Thank you, Basil. Nothing further from my end. Thank you, Bhagavan Udeh.